We used to talk about Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Metallica. We liked the same kind of music. He was cool. I could always talk to Tony. He listened to me. He could make me laugh. He was straight. I thought he was really cute. He was in my chemistry class. But then he started acting really weird. The guy could play racquetball. I mean, this guy beat me. And you know, that's a tough thing to do. I used to run with him on Saturday. I'm gonna miss you, little brother. I still can't believe it happened to us. We're pretty average family. We're pretty happy, too, until Tony died. My folks are really taking it hard. I don't know why Tony did what he did, but thinking back, I could see it coming. He was a good kid. Then he started changing. His friends, where and who did he hang out with? Activities, sports, racquetball he loved, dropped it. He got in trouble in school. His grades slipped. With the police, tickets, crashed the car. He developed an attitude. I couldn't talk to him. He got fired from his job. Being a kid's a bitch. I'm having a hard time handling it. You know, and I'm trying to work, and I'm trying to get this girl thing together. I want to go to college. I want nice things. I don't need any more complications. I can't do both. Live my life and be wasted. Are you talking to me? Are you gonna let it happen? Or are you gonna make it happen? A model? For what, Miss Piggy? Farmer in the Dell overalls? All you need to do is just let me handle myself, okay? Because I'm doing okay. So I smoke more, and so maybe I drink a little more. But who doesn't? Look at my, some of my friends. They drink twice as much and smoke twice as much as I do. But nobody's on their back. Get dressed. Your sister will drive you to school. I'm not going to smoke today. I'm not getting high. One joint. It ain't gonna hurt you. But you know what it does to me? One joint. So what should I do? I don't know. But you're gonna be late for school again. Yo, um, do me a favor, man. Get some of these off from your homeboy. Sample them, um, sell them if you want, you know. And if they like it, and if they like it, you know, get with me. So if you got my beeper number? Yeah. Word, beep me up, man. I'll get with you real soon. You know, I'm always here. All right, then, I'll get with you. Look out for yourself. Well, which one of Mother's Little Helpers is going to help Kathy today? He's got to be more understanding. We just have to be more understanding. He's going through a tough time now. It's just normal adolescent development. Normal development, stealing money, wrecks the car, has a party at my house without my permission. They vomited on the rugs. They were using our bed, for God's sakes. They busted our fine china. They stole things from our house. I'm just trying to help him. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help all of us. We can't live like this anymore. I'll tell you, when he gets back, he's out of here. And if you don't like it, you're out of here, too. If you can't stop using on your own, Scared you can't stop. Angry at those pushing you to stop. And this is a problem for you already. But you need help. If you can just give it up and walk away, then that's cool. Okay, then you didn't cross that line yet. 
When you cross that line, you just can't stop using. And the only trouble is, you can't tell when you're going to cross that line. Really what it comes down to is, you just shouldn't use. At the school I used to go to, um, there really wasn't much going on. You really never did anything. There was no parties or dances, anything, you know? Nobody really did anything. And then here, it's just like so fun. It's so exciting. I mean, you get to smoke and dance, and nobody ever says anything. It's exciting. I like it. I like myself better when I'm high. I'm not as lonely. I didn't think there was much chance of becoming a drug addict or an alky. My dad knows I drink. What's the big deal? It's where the boys are. Some you did. Part of growing up. Everybody did it. Coke was expensive. I stole the money from my parents. Coke was everywhere. I just got in line. I didn't care too much for Coke. What I really liked was PGA, pure grain alcohol. At first it was exciting, daring, seductive. What's behind door number one? My boyfriend got me started. It was fantastic. We take it after homeroom and float through classes. I went through door number one. I tried all the doors. I belong to Craig. <laughs> Craig came free. Stole to get money to buy drugs. Eventually, I stopped stealing. Started dealing to support my habit. I was caught up in a maze, twisting, winding hallways with no windows or doorways out. Hey, man. You got 50 cents for some wine, man? Hey, hey 50 cents for some wine. Oh. I didn't start out thinking I'd become a junkie. Heroin. Heroin became everything to me. Nothing else matters. Married to a junkie. I've got a kid. What a mess I've made in my life. If my family hadn't gotten to me, I'd probably still be wandering around, or dead. High school's key. You can't replay it. You can't say three years from now, I want to go to high school, get good grades, and go to college. Because by then, you're 19 years old, working as a security guard or a waitress somewhere. Yeah, I remember high school. Kinda. I remember 10th grade. I didn't dive last year. I was too high all the time. I got bad grades. I had no ambition. I didn't have what it takes. But I do now. I'm the comeback player of the year, and nobody knows it yet but me. I'm looking at tens. Check this out. Y'all want to bounce in this fresh load? What you doing? You better like leave that boy alone. Don't drink it. It's all fine. So what? Girl, you got chains, everything. Yeah, I got everything. Is that really what you want? You got to say to yourself, graduate from high school. Go on to college. Learn a trade. Get a skill. Become a productive person. Look around you. Everything's automated. You cannot program a computer with basic math skills. It's impossible. Make up your mind. Get an education. Images that appear up and to the left are actually down and to the right. So if we want to look at the image, we have to... Hello, my name is Bob, and I'm an alcoholic. It's been 100 days since I had my last drink. Centennial moment, huh? I'm here because during one of those sober moments, and there weren't many, I realized I only had two choices left to me. And I'm not dead yet, so I must be here. It wasn't easy either. The help of my mom and my pastor and my friends, I'm pulling it back together. I can live with my disease. 
I'm gonna walk on the moon. Out of 14 years of coaching, he's the best ninth grader I've ever coached. He's smart, too. Oh, yes, I've talked to his teachers already about that. Uh, I'm talking high school, All-American, college, free ride all the way, expenses paid. Maybe even a shot at the pros. But he's throwing it all away. Uh, he told me so. He uses every day. If your boy plays with drugs, he doesn't play for me. I have a strict policy about that, and I do not stray away. Ma'am, ma'am, it doesn't matter what you want. Until he wants it, there's nothing you or I can do about it. I'm sorry. That's how it goes. Man, teachers are jerks. Coaches, too. Man, coach don't never know what he's talking about. At least he talks to you. When my dad talks to me, buddy, ah, oh, man, it's with the back of his hand. Man. I love my dog. He's no Rin Tin Tin or Lassie. Jake's Jake. He makes me laugh. I play with him, take care of him. You're just a mutt. But you're my mutt. And I love you just the way you are. Why can't mom and dad understand that about me? I started smoking at 10. Beer at 11. And grass the same year. After that, I forget. Acid was something. I couldn't handle it. Well, I went for help. But it didn't last long. I jumped back. I rode the lines of cocaine. I got that gig. I'm the drummer. How could they cut me loose? I'm the whole band. You need some help. Why don't you ask someone? What? Let everybody in on it? Nobody cares about how anyway. You got a point there. Right now, you're the only one that knows if you're using. But sooner or later, everyone's going to see that you have a problem. The kids at school will see it. Your grades will slip. The teachers and counselors will pick up on it. They'll see it at home. Everyone will know. But what's worse is you're cheating your body. You can't perform as a student, as an athlete or a friend, in anything. Drugs or alcohol can grab a hold of you at any time. There's no such thing as controlled use. It's different for everyone and no one knows when it's going to happen to them. If they tell you they do, they're liars. Think about it. Talk about it. Deal with it before it grabs hold of you. I'm 17. My boyfriend's 25. He's smoking 151s. And he might be going to the pipe. I'm scared. If he tries it, it means he might get me to try it. What do I do? He's 25. I'd take two tabs of mescaline in the morning, skip school, go to the mall. Smoke dope for lunch, sit around watching TV. Watched a lot of TV. I was watching a talk show. This girl comes on. She's my age. She uh, started to talk about it. She's gone to treatment. Her life was really going well. She was picking up the pieces, and she started to talk about all the stuff that happened to her. I did whatever I had to do. Everything that you ever thought that was close to you was just a joke. You know, it don't matter no more. All that matters is getting the money to buy the drugs, and that's all that matters to you. People don't matter. Mom and dad don't matter. 
Friends are merely... Friends are something you use to get the drugs. No one in your life matters. Education is just a word. And in your mind, God don't even exist. When you wanted to hide, you didn't care how you looked. You go days and days about taking a bath. When you even assumed there'd be drugs waiting for you somewhere, you do anything to get to them. You know, there were no values anymore. I said I'd never cheat. I'd never steal. I'd never do cocaine or drop acid. I also said that I said that I'd never, ever go to bed with somebody I did not know. You know, I did these things every day. Drugs. They took over my life. It really scared the hell out of me, because it was all the stuff that was happening to me. Oh, my God. I used just as much as that kid, if not more. And, you know, she went to treatment, and she's turned her life around. Yeah, man, what's up? What you need, man? Man, I need a 20. Hold up, hold up. All right. Hey, man, give me one of them nice ones, too, while you back there. All right. Man, that's a 10, man. Get on, man, with that. Oh, man, I can't get one for 10. No, you can't get nothing here. Get on with that. Come on, man, let me get one for 10. I'm good for it. You ain't good for nothing, Come on, man, I'm on. good for it. Get on, baby. I can't get one for 10. I've been buying here all day. I can't get one I for 10. I don't care, man. Get on from here. Come on, man. Oh, man, why you gonna pull the gun, man? Get don't on, pull the gun. Head. Why you gonna pull the gun? Get on, baby. Oh, I'll head. be back. I'll be back on the mission. What, I'll man? Call what? Enterprises. What I'll be say? back. I'll be back what on the mission. What you say, man? Nothing, man. I'm gone. I'm gone. Get, I I'm thought gone. not. I thought not. That's right. Get on. Getting shot changed my life. Came real close to dying. It was lies. Big bunch of lies. I lied to everyone. Lied to my parents. Lied to myself. I'd say I'm going to go to the store real quick. Went around the corner. Got some drugs so I can get high. I'd say I'm going to spend the night at a friend's house. My mom or dad, they'd call. They knew I wasn't there. But I'd keep on lying. I lied all the time. What am I going to say next week so I can go out and do it again? It's all a big bunch of lies. Man, look at this place. It looks like a war zone. I thought drug dealers were supposed to be rich. What you expect? A pharmacist in a lab coat from discount drugs? Come on now. I don't know. I'd hate to run out of gas around here, though. Slow down. Slow down. There he is oh, over yeah. there. What's this? What's the that? cops? What's going on? Oh, man, take it easy. Take it easy. We're out here. Please! Please! Get out of here! Is this what you want? Hit it. Roll! Roll! I'll be honest. I knew Tony was experimenting. Smoking dope. Don't tell Dad. I won't do it again. I think the folks knew it anyway. It's just a phase. He'll grow out of it. It's not a drug addict. Look at us. Shop teacher at school called me in, told me his projects were incomplete, that he was coming in late, skipping, falling asleep when he did come to class, that I'd better talk to him. He was going to turn him in. Thinking back, I wish he would have turned him in. I wish he would have let him pay the price while he was a kid and the stakes were small. We were all trying to protect him, but what we really were doing was prolonging the inevitable. I know it's tough to do the hard thing when you care for and love someone, but do it. Do it while you can. Tell them how you feel. Confront them and then help them get help. Don't leave them alone. Stop the car. Stop the car. I gotta throw up. Let's go. No. You're making a mistake if you go with these guys. They don't care what happens to you. It's you who's making the mistake. I know what I'm doing, Mother, so leave me alone. Let's go. Are you girls coming or not? You're my best friend. If you were my best friend, you wouldn't be doing this to me. If you walk out on me now, you can forget about being friends forever. That's a bunch of crap, you know that? I can't believe you did that. You humiliated me in front of those guys. <laughs> I 
I could have been with them. Anyone seen my purse? Those aren't mine. I'm holding them for someone. You've got to believe me. Daddy, I'm serious. I can't believe you think I'd do a thing like that. Dad, why is Mom crying? Hi, Uncle Billy. Yeah, worse. Um, do you think me and Annie could come stay with you for a while? Great. We'll have our things ready. Okay. It sounded great. Yeah, thanks a lot. It takes lots of hard work and lots of practice. You can't sit in your basement and expect things to happen. Should I try it at that tempo? Yeah. I took a look at myself. I looked into my eyes and I saw someone else driving. I got out of that basement and I found some help. people down. My team, coach, my mom, myself. Mom says everyone's blessed with something they do well. Finding it, that's the hard part. I know what I can do, but I can't do it with drugs. May I help you? He's here for evaluation. You have an appointment? Yeah. Eric Lohman. You're Eric's mother? Yes. It's possible to turn your life around. It ain't easy. And you'll need help. But you really have to want it. Otherwise, I know it'll destroy your life. He scares me now. I'm doing things I don't want to do. He says he loves me. He'll take care of me. We started kindergarten together. Little League, camp, the whole thing. Then he cracked up, using, dealing. I read about him in the newspaper. Yo estoy yendo a escuela. I'm going to school. I'm not going to trade my future for a guitar and a used car. I'm not going to be out on the streets when I'm an old man, neither. Talk to your counselors. Ask questions. Where are the good jobs? Trade you can apprentice. Make a lot of money. Get a piece of the good life. You know what I mean. Chefs, good chefs are in demand. That's going to be me. I've learned that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. But now, the future belongs to me. Oh, man, what a day. How the phone's never stopped ringing. When's dinner? We're ready right now. Why don't you wash up? All right. Where's the kid? I haven't seen him since after school. Well, we got a message. Okay. Mom? Dad? I tried to talk to you. You listen, but you never hear me. Maybe you'll have time to listen to this. I'm sorry I didn't measure up. I tried. I 
guess I'm just no good. Jake and I are here at the park. Goodbye. I love you. Hey man, I got some crack and it's out of my live. Face. Man, out of my man. face. Hey, I got the rock that's hot. Feed rock, yeah. Listen, baby, I got what you need right here. Listen, I got some pot that's hot. This. Hey man, you, you want to try some? Just you don't be here tomorrow, right? Hey baby, you want to try some? Killer. How's he gonna help me? He can't help you if you don't ask, dummy. He's probably in a swim meet. Hi. Come on in. Have a seat. Sure. Thanks. Make up your own mind. Take control of your life now. It belongs to you. Don't let anything or anyone take it away from you. <laughs> 